everyone. How you doing? Uh, I had to come to you in my Versace robe, honey, because I have a Medusa head palette sitting here by Lunar Beauty, and it's only right that I represent, okay, that I represent and review this palette with this robe on, because look at this Medusa head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. But before we dig in, please like, subscribe, um, share this video, whatever you got to do to have people come and look at this. Anyway, again, this is Bordeaux Rose here at you with another review. Um, I got this as soon as I saw uh, Manny MUA's launch video. When I saw it, I was like, woo, I got to have that palette. I am not necessarily a sucker for packaging, but how could you resist? How could you resist this? Come on. This is the outer packaging, which is also very gorgeous. You can tell they put a lot of time and, you know, a few coin into this because this is embossed. It's gold embossed. This is the, the lettering is embossed. The black Greek goddess. Uh, that's the name of the palette. The snake is embossed. It is beautiful, beautiful. Almost, I almost don't want to throw this out and I might not throw it out. Um, I believe, I forget how much the palette was. I'll double check. I think it was 48 bucks. Um, this is the, this palette feels so heavy. It feels so heavy. It says Lunar Beauty here. Medusa head here. All fully embossed. Um, black matte. Black matte. So pretty. Um, Greek goddess on the back. Lunar Beauty. Little specs about it. The weight. The blah, blah, blah. Bunny, the bunny here for the cruelty free. All that stuff, all of the Lunar Beauty uh, socials, everything. But I was swatching and, um, you know, playing around with it. And I was like, let me just turn my camera on. But anywho, this mirror in here is very big, very big. I can use this to do my full face for travel. Like, this is all I need to go travel with. And I'm a sucker for palettes that I can travel with. And I know a lot of people, excuse me, was saying that this palette was very safe. But you know what? I think it's safe, but I think, excuse me, that it was definitely made for a goddess, a Greek goddess. This is the colors that a goddess would wear. You're not going to see a Greek goddess with bright pink and purple. No, okay? That was not the theme this time. Life as a Drag was beautiful. It is what it is. It's a different animal than this. I wish people would stop comparing it to this palette. This is a totally different thing, okay? And yes, we know there's so many different colors that we already have, blah, 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 whatever. But you don't have them all in this one palette. Okay, a lot of people were comparing it to um, the Disney collection palette. And I even said, I think I even said that um, I'm kind of happy that it kind of looks like the Disney collection palette. But then when I really looked at it, no, it's not. It really isn't. It's, it does not compare to the ColourPop palette. Um, so I already swatched the first two rows and they're beautiful. They are just beautiful. Okay, they're beautiful. The swatches are beautiful. The last row are mattes, and I, I got to them, and I was like, I really don't need to, but I will. Um, you know, I think that the swatches don't really, ooh, I was about to say don't do them justice, but that was Athenian. Athen, 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 Athena, Athena, sorry. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. To me, the mattes are very creamy, very creamy. Um, ooh. Look at that. Look at this. Okay, that was the last row. I'm not going to spend time going row by row, swatch by swatch. Um, the colors give a good payoff in a swatch. They do. I do think that the mattes come off a little bit chalky, especially the first two, which is the two lighter colors. Um, Hesta and Harmonia. I'm going to show them to you. Hold on. But these two colors right here come off a bit. Um, chalky just a little bit. I probably won't use those colors very often because they don't work on my complexion. Um, you know, except for the yellow, I might use the yellow just to fan out. But we're going to do a little quick tutorial, okay? And I'm going to try to use as many colors, colors as possible, all right? I'm going to first start by dipping into Persephone. Persephone? Persephone? I know how to speak. I am very intelligent, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. These these are a little bit chalky. They're a little bit dusty. 
but they do go on the eye nice. This is like exactly my complexion. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use this mirror. My lighting is so bright. Let's turn it down just a bit. Okay, so we're using this color here on the palette, Persephone. I, I know I'm saying it wrong. I've dipped into it like three or four times. But um, the color the color payoff is good. It looks exactly like my complexion. Let me remove this um, protective layer here. Ooh, this is a nice mirror. Like, really nice mirror. Really nice. The Again, like I said, the masks, they're very dusty. This, this one color here, let me start with just saying. This one color is very dusty, okay? Very, very dusty. All right. I love how this palette feels so luxurious. Next color I'm going to use is Artemis. This is the bottom um, right here. It's coming off like a light brown, but it's actually like a terracotta. Okay. Yeah. Just to warm up that crease. Warm it up, sis. Warm it up. Warm up that crease. Okay. Now, I'm going to use Aphrodite. No, I'm going to go on to Rhea. And just deepen it a little bit. I want to layer and see how well these do layering. Oh, man. They are, they are chalky. But they come on the eye really pretty. I don't mind the chalkiness. Okay, so let's test for fallout. Okay, there's a little fallout. Not bad. All you do is take your powder brush. Okay. So that deepened. They layered well. Okay, these are all the light brown and terracotta shades in the palette. They layered very well. Um, I'm going to go into my crease and deepen my crease with Aphrodite. That's this top color right here. Okay. It looks red, but it's actually like, ooh, this is very, they're very powdery. Very powdery, but very pigmented. Okay. They are pigmented. Ooh, they come with a lot of pigment. A lot of fallout on this shade. And again, this shade is called Aphrodite. Okay. Pigment. Ooh, the pigment. Pigment is real. Pigment is real. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go in and just make the, uh, the crease, the, the, the inner, inner crease very dark with Calope, Cal, Calliope, Calliope. Excuse me. I'm sorry for mispronouncing these names. I apologize, but I'm going right into my crease. All I needed was one swipe of that. Do you see that? And I didn't even hit it hard like I was the other ones. Look at this. Look. Two little boop boop. And look at that. Wow. 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 That's good. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. And they're layering beautifully. Um... Hold on one second. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I had to pick up my brush there. It fell. Most people cut that out, but we don't cut out nothing here, okay? All right. So we're going to go in and make it just a little bit deeper. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I am so impressed. I feel like I got every penny's worth. 
Sorry, you might hear my puppy. I got a new doggy. And she's moaning and groaning. She got a little procedure done yesterday at the vet. So she's a little bit um, cranky. Pigment. Pigment. What did you say? Pigment? Pigment. Okay, so, hmm, where do we want to go next? Let us do... Let us do... I, let me attack that blue. Let me attack that blue. But I'm going to put that on... You know what? I'm going to try... I'm gonna put that on with my finger, only because I love putting colors on with my finger like this. So my finger is clean. It has a little bit of um, eyeshadow on it from one of these little terracotta ones, but it's for the most part clean. I just wiped it off. And I'm gonna use it like this. Oh, so pretty. I think it's very nice. I think it's kind of transparent a little bit. So you probably have to layer this one up. Very what I call sophisticated. <laughs> very sophisticated. So you may have to go in and really, if you want it to be very, very pigmented, layer it layer it okay and don't be afraid to use your fingers you don't need a sigma m16 <laughs> i prefer to put my lids on my lid color on with a um with my fingers now i'm gonna take my smudge brush and I'm going to smudge um, Rhea, which is this terracotta brick reddish looking color on the bottom of the lash line. Clean away my fallout here. But I'm not going to do any falsies with this look. All right. Now, I'm going to take my crease brush and do something just a tiny bit crazy, which is going to Nemus, the blue one again, and lightly blend the top portion into the crease like this. There is fall out with this color. Nemus, you're going to be, there's a lot of fallout with Nemus. Nemesis, excuse me. It's called Nemesis, I apologize. Okay. But this to me is like normal stuff that we all deal with, with most eyeshadow palettes you know what I mean it's nothing that is oh my god the scandal you know it's it's nothing like it's nothing like that like I don't understand why people make fallout and staining of the eyeshadow eye uh eyelids um a big scandal it's something that's been happening since the beginning of makeup I don't know what why it's such a big deal but it's definitely something to note. That way you could put down a layer of powder or do your eyes first. And that's what I would suggest with that Nemesis color. Do your eyes first. I did my foundation and stuff first. But um, next time I know if I'm going to use that blue, I'll do that. Next color I'm going to use, I'm going to take Hera, which is this. To me, this color is a goddess color, for real, for real. Like, I see a Greek goddess with all of her jewelry and all of her headpiece and everything and just have this Herma just, 
just all over her lid, you know, with a black liner. You know what I mean? Like that. I didn't even need two swipes. I just wanted to make the swatch bigger so you can see. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm sorry. The lighting is so bright. Look how beautiful. I'm going to put that right in the middle of Nemesis. Okay, right in the middle. I didn't even need two swipes. This one I made kind of big. Look how beautiful. So what I'm going to do is take that crease brush again. Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to take my smudger brush. And I'm going to take Nemesis. And I'm going to go around where I just put uh, Hera. Just to diffuse it just a little. And I'm going to put Hera right in the middle. And mind you, I'm tapping Hera. These shimmer shades in here are luxurious. Very, very luxurious. Um, let's see. Maybe a little liner. Maybe a little liner. A little liner. We got to do a little liner for this. Okay? A little liner. A little liner. Give me a moment. This is the eye right here that I get the most drama with. Like, I can never get this eye to look like the other one. But we're going to struggle through. Mm-hmm. Alright, now what I normally do, I don't know about anybody else, but I take my black liner and I go underneath the, the tight line and I just tight line. Okay, and because this is daytime, I'm going to leave my bottom my bottom lash line what I'm gonna do because it's daytime um, and I'm gonna wear this look all day I am going to put let's see Calliope is that it Calliope this color here in the um, like close to the yeah, like that. Careful not to cover the um, shimmer shade that I put right there. See it? Okay. Ooh. I feel hot. This robe got me hot. I'm in Miami. And today it was not cold in Miami, so I'm hot. All right, so um, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I think this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do, I normally take and use um, a highlighter for my inner corner. But because she knew, we're going to use one of my shades here. Uh, where's my little brush? 
I don't have a pencil brush on me right now. Um, so we're going to use Iris. We're going to use Iris right here in the middle. It's kind of like a champagne-y color. And put that in the inner corner. Very lightly. And you know what we're going to do with Iris? We're also going to use Iris as a what? Highlighter, because you already know. Because <coughs> you already know I'm good for that. But before we do that, we're going to use uh, Rhea as a blush. This color is gorgeous. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. Okay, don't panic. <laughs> she looking clown-like, right? She looking clown-like. Don't panic. But see, this is what I love because I can use this palette on my whole face, honey. This this was made for me. And I'm going to use Iris again as the highlighter, like I said. She's making all kinds of noise. I think she's finally eating. Look at how pretty. Ooh. Who says eyeshadow just has to be used on the eyes? Look at how pretty that is. Look at how pretty that is. Great goddess. Great goddess. And we're going to put a little lippy here. I think I'm going to choose my ColourPop La Lady. I just got this um, in from them. I'm going to blot because I like my lipstick to look blot. Blot it. We're going to put mascara on. See, I prefer, I have a big expensive mirror right here and I actually prefer this mirror. <laughs> that sucks. I guess I shouldn't say it sucks. It's actually cool beads, cool beans. If you guys hear her eating, I'm sorry. My little cheapy elf mascara. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of powdering again. Just a little bit. In the areas that Okay, tell me, this is not Greek Goddess? How pretty is that? How pretty? I love this palette. I, I am so happy that I purchased this palette because let me tell you something. When I saw this palette, I was like, oh my gosh, this palette is gorgeous. I have to have it. I have to have it. And it really lived up to its name. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can find exactly how much it was. Um, even though I'm sure everybody knows, you know, how much it was. But I have to do the right thing, all right? 
it's it was fifty eight dollars. I think I paid just a little over fifty something dollars um, to get it here to me in Miami. And when I tell you I ordered that palette, ah, uh, when did I get it? Oh, it doesn't have the date here. I don't have the date here, but I got this palette really quick. I was very surprised. I just knew I wasn't going to get it till after Christmas because, you know, I figured, oh, it's Christmas. Everybody's ordering. You know, I'm in Miami. I think he might be in L.A. or Cal or somewhere. I'm not sure. But I got my palette within days of ordering, like days, not even a week or two weeks. I think I, I got it in like four days max, five days max. It was to me, that was pretty quick for around the holidays. But, um, you know, this is the look. This is the look. I think that it lived up to its standards. I didn't have to pull out a blush. I didn't have to pull out a highlighter. Everything, my whole face, except for my lipstick and mascara. And you know, the, you know, okay, this, I can't do mascara with this. Be honest with yourself. But everything came from this palette. And this was an amazing, amazing buy. So I think it's worth every penny of those $48, probably even more if you want to ask me. And look how gorgeous this is going to look. Every time I use this palette, I'm going to wear my uh, my Versace robe. I'm, this is what I'm going to wear. Every time I use this palette, I'm going to wear my Versace robe because, you know, it's a must. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you like this palette or purchase this palette or going to purchase this palette because you see how well it works, um, I say do it. Do it. Anywho, thank you so much and you have a nice day. Bye.